What's up, Fichero fam? For today, I'm flying from Los Angeles to Denver. And for my flight, I'm going to the ominous, the weird, Gate 52 in Terminal 5. Now, if you've never heard of Gate 52, it's this odd section in the Terminal 5 area that you typically fly with American Airlines. So it's more American Airlines related. And it's this like weird, almost like borderline sketchy gate that's in this odd section of LAX. And my flight today is being uh, flown by, I think it's like Compass Airlines operated as American Eagle. So for any like really, really small airplane or really small flight, you know, and obviously I'm just going from Los Angeles to Denver, there's always this weird gate that they put everybody in and it's, it's an experience. It's a very interesting experience. We have to take a bus, come across and through the airport, as you can see. And I have the bus to myself, it's pretty awesome. You can get over here anywhere else. There's no way you can get over here without coming inside the airport. And right. Down. Take your shot. Officially in gate 52 now. It's pretty chilly here actually, so I kind of switched my shirt. Uh, but as you can see, it's really just the single gate and each basic gate section has different letters. So it's basically like 52A, 52B, 52C, all the way down. I think it was to, was it J maybe? Or G? I don't know. It, it's pretty far, but the weird thing about this gate is that this is it. So this is like the whole section right here. Pretty far away from the rest of the airport. <laughs> Take your shot. Finally in Denver, Colorado. Check out this view. It's a beautiful view. And I officially survived Gate 52. I even thought about making like a shirt that says I survived Gate 52 or something. I will say that's the second time that I've actually flown through Gate 52, hence how I kind of knew kind of the layout and the way it works. But it's still always a weird experience. You know, uh, I didn't even know too, the, like the lady said, that there's no other way you can access it. Cause I was always curious, like why 
don't we just walk to the gate? Why do we have to take this unique car that literally goes through where the airlines and the airplanes are going, like all, everything's happening. Why do we have to go through all the traffic when we can just walk there? So it makes sense, but it is a very weird and odd part of the airport. And when I did that kind of pan or those kind of sections, there's only one place there we can get food where they have, you know, all the, if you want some alcohol, if you want to grab a drink, if you want to get food in terms of snacks, if you want to get actually like, you know, like a salad or whatever, there's only one spot for it. And it's almost like the size of like this small little area. So it's really weird. Another thing I will say, if you happen to be flying on gate 52, make sure you get there or get to the airport like 10 or 15 minutes, like longer than you think. Like, like after 10, 15 minutes on to route. The reason why is when I got there, I actually was talking to two people who both missed their flights because they didn't know about gate 52. They're like, oh, I'm gate 52 C or whatever. Okay, no big deal. But then keep in mind, there's another 10 or 15 minutes added on to your almost like travel time because you have to get to the airport, get to the gate 52 BC check-in point, I guess if I call it that. You then get put on the bus, it brings you through and it's about a 10 or 15 minute thing. So if actually you're running late, that's 10 or 15 minutes you might not account for if you never heard about K52 or whatever. But very interesting experience. And I can say that I've officially survived Gate 52.